PlayStation is getting ready to party this weekend, and we thought it was appropriate to celebrate the first PSX event with the best of the original PSX console. The PlayStation 1 years were spectacular, and as you can imagine, some truly magnificent games had to be eliminated if we were going to cut this list off at 10. Rattling off our favorite PSX games was easy, but to pick the best, we had to honestly assess which games we could still enjoy today, which experiences hold up no matter the generation or console. When we finally reached the PlayStation 9 and were controlling games via nanomachines embedded in our brains, we'll still remember the following gems from the PlayStation 1. The first Twisted Metal was one of the first blockbusters to arrive on Sony's CD-based system, offering more destruction and verticality than we were used to in a racing game. Twisted Metal 2 pulls out all of the stop signs to produce the best game in the series next to 2001's Twisted Metal Black. Arenas can be demolished, opening up new roads and ramps, maps travel the world instead of just touring Los Angeles, and five new contestants challenge Calypso, including the tortured cover boy Axel. Car combat games were more prevalent in the PS1 era than they are now and Twisted Metal 2 is the clear winner. Before Gran Turismo, any attempt towards realism in racing games were limited to PCs. The original GT brought sim racing to the masses, and its sequel piles on the content, including off-road rally courses and more than 600 total cars. Here's a game that not only has you driving the hottest supercars, but actually lets you take the humble hatchback you drive to work every day and test its limits out on the track. It's the familiarity that serves as a reference point, making Gran Turismo 2 feel strikingly true to life. Sephiroth walking through the flames, clouds speeding down a highway on a motorcycle, the death of Eris. This is one of the most important games of all time. Its release on the PlayStation heralded a new era. Square, once a Nintendo mainstay, defected to the upstart Sony platform, putting perhaps the final nail in the Nintendo 64's coffin. FF7 boasts unparalleled scale and scope, and incorporates some of the most widespread use of high-budget CG animation for its time to create one of the most complete and unique RPG experiences ever. Combine this with an amazing cast, an extremely deep combat system, a stellar soundtrack, and a storyline that had fans debating its meaning over a decade later, and you have an RPG with an almost insurmountable level of excellence. The controls in Silent Hill aren't perfect, or maybe they are. The graphics don't really hold up, or do they? Silent Hill is as twisted a masterpiece as the world it creates, bringing in the psychological side of survival horror and making the PS1 a seriously spooky little gray box. Silent Hill shows us that the scariest place to venture is within the mind. Our own uncertainty and fear mixes with that of Harry Mason, your typical everyman who knows just about as much as what's going on as he does about handling a firearm. Static has never sounded the same since Silent Hill. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 features the single most important innovation to the franchise. Manuals add a near infinite level of depth to combos with the ability to string together grinds and tricks effortlessly. Another critical addition is the debut of the character creator, granting players the ability to personalize their avatars with a plethora of skills and unlockables. Levels are more varied than its predecessor, and each stage is packed full of hidden items and locations. The icing on the cake is the web slinger himself, Spider-Man, a secret character that has since set the precedent for hidden characters in the franchise. Final Fantasy IX is perhaps improperly remembered as a return to form, some classic adventure with disproportionate heads that brought the series back to its roots. In truth, this is really its own game. There are few RPGs even today that can match its distinct and deliberate tone, complete world, and perhaps rarest of all, a cast of fully realized characters who show actual, meaningful growth throughout the story. Why'd he bite me?
Resident Evil is a landmark entry in the survival horror genre. Despite development setbacks and a pushed release date, a delicious demo came packaged with a director's cut that set fans into a frenzy of hype. The finished product is a timeless masterpiece that is aged like a fine wine. A and B scenarios feature overlapping storylines with choices in each affecting concurrent playthroughs. Fan favorites Leon Kennedy, Ada Wong, Claire Redfield, and Hunk make their fabled debuts on the ruined streets of Raccoon City, and the expanded lore paved the way for 16 years of continuity. To top it all off, an abundance of secrets and unlockables like the enigmatic Tofu keep players coming back nearly two decades later. Released in Japan in 1997, Tactics features a combat system previously absent from Final Fantasy. With its emphasis on position and the skills of units, it added a new layer of depth and strategy to the series. The job system from past Final Fantasies makes a welcome return with more choices than ever. Its story is more mature and down-to-earth than those you're likely to find in other RPGs, and the fantastic score stands among the best that bear the name. There have been many side projects that have spawned from Square's famous franchise, but Tactics is the best entry not to receive a Roman numeral. This foolishness! Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Symphony of the Night is a timeless classic that is still just as beautiful and playable today as it was in 1997. The sprite work is gorgeous, the music is phenomenal, the cast is a labyrinth and dreamscape, and the depth and wealth of secrets is staggering. Not many sequels literally take your expectations and flip them upside down, but just when you think Symphony is reaching its climax, it proves the best is yet to come. And this isn't just a distillation of old ideas. The series wisely adopted the style of the Metroid games to give Castlevania new life with the template continuing via handhelds to produce outstanding sequels like Dawn of Sorrow. This is one symphony we wish would go on forever. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. The greatness of this game has echoed through the years since its release in 1998. It was updated as Integral in 1999, remastered into the Twin Snakes in 2004, and we returned to the frozen ruins of Shadow Moses in the 2008 release of Metal Gear Solid 4. The desire for more MGS was so strong in 98, Konami released VR missions, an extra batch of training simulations that several soldiers consumed voraciously. MGS is a model of excellence. It brought us into a new era of 3D stealth, but also was a tribute to Solid Snake on the MSX2. It was the most cinematic video game of its time, but it also gave us control of some incredibly tense action sequences. The characters are legendary, easter eggs are unforgettable, and story is among the most complex on any console. No one at GT had any other suggestions for number one on this list. Well done, Snake. Mission accomplished. <laughs>